Um, the banks are caught in a bitter global battle and capitalism itself propels them to do whatever it takes to increase their profit even if that means cheating um, and uh, acting illegally they will do this um, as you probably know for example HSBC um, which is a big player over here is a criminal organization it has already paid the world's largest fine ever for money laundering um, we didn't go to court and settled out court in the United States money laundering um, uh, through Mexican subsidiaries HSBC Jersey is under investigation at the moment HSBC Geneva is under investigation at the moment um, I wouldn't look to the minds of the bankers who moved to Jersey and used Jersey as a base to help people evade tax and avoid tax. As far as I'm concerned, by the way, there's not any difference between the two. This is a play on words. Avoidance is avoidance. Um, it means that people who should be paying tax are not paying tax because they're exploiting loopholes in the system and it means that ordinary people and ordinary businesses that choose to act <coughs> morally and or can't use tax havens are having to pick up the tax. Mm. The finance minister of Africa speaking in the UK parliament just three years ago said we have allowed the term avoidance far too much respectability. It is cheating and he's quite correct. Cheating is cheating in any context, regardless of whether it's legal. Um, and I think it's time that um, I mean, the UK government is moving towards a general <coughs> avoidance rule. <coughs> They're as strong as we want, but one of the things the Tax Justice Network is doing globally now is it's moving forward, not against tax evasion, everyone knows that's bad. We want to be, put ourselves in a situation across the world where the tax avoidance <coughs> industry <coughs> is under pressure. Interestingly, if you look at the current edition of Stern magazine, which is a very important magazine in Germany, their leading article, which is based very largely upon the work of a certain Prem Sika, the squire, of the parish of Essex, <laughs> has pictures of four gangsters and they are portrayed as gangsters the head of PricewaterhouseCoopers, the head of Ernst & Young, the head of Deloitte Touche, um, and the head of KPMG and the title of the, pe of the piece is a very large article is Enemies of the Legal State in other words here you have businesses whose business model is to attack democracy and it's time we counter-attacked and said to the tax avoidance industry you are acting, you are attacking the interests <coughs> of democracy <coughs> and ordinary people. So you also have to kind of look at, I mean the consequences whether it's very aggressive, slightly aggressive are just the same. In the UK HMRC has some 41,000 tax avoidance schemes under investigation. Uh, in some will end up in courts as test cases <coughs> no government's got enough revenue to take every one of those to the court so even and the cost of that always falls on the public but we frequently put up some of these judgments on the AAB website and you can see as you read the details oh this transaction was rooted through Jersey or Cayman Islands and in many cases the judges have said these schemes are unlawful. Now accountancy firms are playing a game. Uh, we drew attention to the House of Commons Public Accounts Committee to some of these schemes marketed through Luxembourg. We provided